What's good, YouTube? Feed of my productions here. And um, today, I want to do a review on the uh, Power Force Season 3, Episode 10, the finale. What, what, what the hell just happened? Uh, can we all agree that uh, d Mac is the worst character in all of Power? This dude sucks, man. Hey, man, this character, dog. He makes the most stupid decisions I have ever seen in power. Uh, he wants to be a gangster so bad, but he doesn't know the rules of being a gangster. Like, I, I guess a lot of people like that in real life, man. I, I think we have a lot of wannabes who kill innocent people and, and run the streets and pretend to be gangster, but not knowing how to be gangster. And to get a lot of innocent people involved in it while they're doing it. And uh, D-Max is like the perfect example of that. That's why a lot of these young dudes are running wild in the streets because they have no they have no rules or nobody telling them what's supposed to be what. And a lot of innocent people get caught up in the crossfire because these dudes are just seeing stuff on TV or hearing stuff in songs and thinking that that's how it's supposed to be. And a lot of even some people get caught up in it. Um, so the season finale of Power Force, uh, Tommy's, uh, of course, he's trying to set up Miguel. He's trying to kill uh, the, the rat boy. Um, he, he's trying to kill the rat. He found that old boy was ratting on him. And um, he set it up perfectly. He, he, he set it up to where he told him that they were going to meet at a certain spot. But really, it was his sister who was going to meet up with the cartel. And he set them both up. Right? And... Um, and, and when the police came in to bust them, they busted his sister. Uh, they ended up busting them. Um, I, I forgot where the cartel was from. It was a cartel from outside of Chicago. I can't remember. Because I just watched the episode. And my mind is just everywhere right now. And I'm bad with names. I'm sorry. I'm bad with names. But we know who we're talking about. We watched the episode. You know what I'm talking about. And um, some police died. Some police died during this raid. Thinking they were gonna bust Tommy, because uh, the black chick has has his this thick up her ass about getting Tommy. That's one thing I hate about Power is that these police will not let certain people go. They have to stick up their ass about certain people, and they will just like just literally die and come back from the grave <laughs> and try to get these people. Like uh, with Tyreek, uh, what's his name? Uh, Sax died. And even when he died, spending his whole life trying to take down Tariq's family. This nigga <laughs> came back from the dead with recordings and evidence sending it out to people. Still trying to get Tariq. I'm like, dear God, man. Like, is your life that worthless that you spend every waking hour with a hard on for these motherfuckers? Is, is that serious? You could have started a family, my guy. It's not that serious. They're just drug dealers. I know you want to bust them, but why is it that serious? There's, there's a lot of drug dealers in America. There's a lot of bad people, serial killers. No, you stuck to this family for years. Even when you were dead, you had a, a, a tendency plan to still try to get them after, like, beyond the grave. That's amazing. But anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm getting off some shit. But uh, yeah, so uh, uh, Tommy wanted to go to uh, Barcelona, I think, with uh, uh, Miguel's sister. They're planning on going to Barcelona. And you already know there's red flags. It's so many red flags. The red flags are easy this season. So we knew that that was never going to happen. Tommy's never going to get a happy ending with, with no chick. But uh, yeah, the whole Barcelona stuff didn't happen. Um, D 
D-Man. I, I hate that character. I hate him, dog. I liked him when, I, when they first introduced him in the first season. I was like, oh, he could probably join Tyreek then. But nah, man, this dude's an idiot. Get him up out of here, bro. He got some gold, man. But, uh, but now we know uh, he ended up killing uh, he ended up killing the kid who killed uh, Diamond's uh girlfriend's son right i'm sorry i can't think of their names i'm sorry man forgive me but he ended up killing the kid diamond wanted to kill him but they couldn't because uh i think his name king king said or whatever the dude in jail who they made an alliance with um so they could make this uh drug deal alliance that was his nephew uh, okay. no i'm good a little bit. Well, anyway, so uh, they made an alliance with this guy. So that was his nephew. So they couldn't kill him. Or they'll break up the alliance. And uh, d Mac Homeboy came in the house, gave him a gun, and they gave him all the information about, like, hey, yeah, we need to kill this kid, but we can't. So, of course, d Mac's stupid ass is like, yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to take care of him because I'm not in the CBI no more. I'm not in the CBI no more. So I could do it and see by could, could fall under the radar. And um, he, he does it. He goes out, he sees the kid, he shoots him, kills him, takes pictures of it, and he goes to Diamond, shows Diamond like, yo, I killed this kid for you. Diamond's like, dude, you finna ruin the whole alliance. You, you, you finna start a war. What are you doing? And Diamond thinks about killing him, pulls a gun out, but he's like, nah, because that's Tommy's nephew. So he's like, I can't kill this kid, right? Because Diamond wants to kill him. He's like, I can't kill this kid. So he goes to Gerard, and he tells Gerard, like, yo, man, Tommy's nephew is messing up big time, dog. He has to go, but we can't kill him. That's Tommy's nephew. And when King Sid or whatever find out about it, it's going to be a war. And the alliance is over. And um Gerard's like, yo, don't worry about it. I got it. And uh CBI won't be connected to it. We're gonna we're gonna kill two birds and one stone. I'm gonna go talk to uh King City or whatever, and I'm gonna tell him that uh D Mac had nothing to do with CBI in that not only did he have nothing to do with CBI, we'll give you him on a platter. On a silver platter, we're gonna hand him to you. So you can do whatever you want with it. And uh, it was like, yo, Tommy can't find out about this. And of course, Tommy's gonna find out about it. Uh, probably next season. But uh, D Mac comes home. Uh, you know, he tells the family he's done. He's a gangster. He belongs in the streets. He's not with the family thing. And he leaves. So uh, Tommy. Finds out that his mom know D Max back and um he find and uh uh Tommy's mom she goes to Tommy and she tries to tell him about like she know about D Mac and all this stuff. Tommy tell her like look, just take some drugs, get the hell up out of here. I don't wanna hear your excuses. You know, everything you touch it, you, you mess it up. And that's like that's kind of a theme this episode because uh the brother end up saying the same thing to Tommy later on when the mom overdoses. He was like, you know, everything you interact with, everything you touch, anything around you, um, uh, ends up, you end up destroying. So, uh, Tommy and, uh, what he said to his mom is exactly what Tommy is. So Tommy is basically a reflection of his mom. Like he is his, his his mom's son, you know. They're they're more alike than Tommy wants to admit. But um, yeah, the mom is overdosing. The brother was like, "I want nothing to do with you." And um, and Tommy was gonna let her die. She was in the overdosing, begging Tommy for help. And Tommy just sit there and cried. Just looked there like, "Yeah, you need to go," you know. And um, what else happened? Oh, so. Uh, Tommy doesn't kill uh, the rat dude. He doesn't kill him right away. Tommy takes him to like some warehouse or something. 
and Tummy tells Diamond, like, look, I'm not gonna kill him. I just want to, I want to scare him and let him know, like, I know, but I'm in charge. And, you know, um, I can control him. I can use him. He'll be a useful tool. Diamond doesn't agree with that. Diamond's like, nah, fuck, forget all that, kill him. But tell me the what to do. Tell me I want to use him. So he's, he's going to stick around. And uh, we don't know if the sister died or not. But the sister ends up calling uh, the boxing chick. I'm sorry, I can't remember none of these people's names. <laughs> but ends up calling her. And she's like, you know, I'm in jail, blah, blah, blah. Uh, did you and Tommy set me up? And Tommy answers the phone because he's there with her. He's like, yeah, you know. It is what it is, you know, blah, blah, blah. And she ends up getting stabbed. She ends up getting shanked in jail. We don't know if she dies, but she ends up getting shanked. And she's kind of bleeding out while she's on the phone. But they kind of cut away. I don't think she's dead. I think she's she's going to survive. Because, uh, cause, you know, the rules in movies and shows, if they don't show them dying, they're still alive. So I think she's still alive. Because they didn't show her dying. They show her bleeding out and looking at the blood like, uh... But, uh, I think the big thing that happened here was a couple of big things. So, Tommy fooled the, uh, he fooled the FBI and, uh, and all those people by thinking that he was going to have a drug deal there. But really, it was, uh, it was, a uh, it was the Serbs and, uh, and Nadia, right? I think they Nadia. The names come to me now. So he ended up they ended up busting them. And the black chick was so upset that she couldn't get Tommy. She was like tripping out on Tommy that I think she messed up her relationship with uh I, I guess that's her husband, right? Her husband who works there. And um he kinda strolled out. But um but after that um, Tommy, he's celebrating with the CBI there at the bar that uh, he he brought for the brother. That the brother said he didn't want to do it no more. He gave it to Tommy. So uh, they're at the bar, and um, he had a phone call from Miguel, and then Miguel was just like, "Yeah." He called from the sister phone, uh, you know, Tommy's girl, and he's like, "Yeah, you won't be seeing her no more." And then Tommy's like freaking out, and you know he's like, Argh, at the end of the uh, <laughs> end of the episode. So, so we know now that Miguel knows. Oh, yeah, but Miguel knows because Gerard sent the picture of Tommy and her together. He sent it to uh, Miguel, hoping that Miguel would kill Tommy. But Miguel can't kill Tommy now because uh, they made a deal with the connect that they would work together and they would stop the war. Because Miguel sent uh, one of his people out to kill Tommy, but Tommy ended up killing the dude. And so the connect was like, look, this is gonna work. We'll, you know, we'll, we'll give you all the Serbs uh, uh, property or whatever, wherever the Serbs were serving that. That's, that's, that's you now, Tommy. And now you gotta work with Miguel. And, uh, you two guys now are my two big distributors now. And uh, Miguel didn't like that shit. So, uh, yeah, he found out about his sister because of Gerard. Gerard was still trying to get Tommy set up. And, um, and and we don't know what happened to the sister. He was like, you'll never see her again. So I don't think he killed her. I think she'll be back for season three. But, um, yeah. I'm kind of bummed that Tyreek never showed up. I was hoping that... Tyreek will show up somewhere, but I'm guessing this happens before Tommy shows up in a a ghost. So we know it. We know in Ghost, last season of Ghost, Tommy shows up to kill Tasha, right? And then he uh, he he ends up making a deal with uh, Tyreek uh, that he wouldn't kill Tasha, or whatever. So, and, and uh, we know Tyreek's on the run now. But I was like, are they going to show this during uh, Force? 
But I think this is like before whatever happens with Tyreek. Because Tommy just can't leave and go to New York and do all this shit and be gone for, I guess, a couple of weeks dealing with uh, Tasha and Tyreek. So I guess this is before. Maybe we'll see it in season three where he actually goes to New York and deals with Tyreek, whatever. But I don't know. I was hoping Tyreek was going to show up, but he didn't. But it's whatever. Um, a great season. It was a good season. I actually enjoyed this season a lot. Um, I think I might have liked this season more than season one, actually. Season one was good, but I think I enjoyed this season a lot more. I don't know. I won't say a lot more. I said just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Um, yeah, man, it was a good season, man. And um, I'm just rambling, man, because I just watched the episode. I've been drinking a little bit, sorry. And um, yeah, man, I just had to get these thoughts out of my head. But yeah, man, Force Man, season two finale. Let me know what you think down below, man. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. You like the finale? Uh, I'm sorry about the names, man. I'm so bad with names, man. I'm so fucking sorry. But I'm so bad with names. But uh, yeah, man. Let me know what you think down below. Are you excited about Force Season 3? And are you excited about uh, Ghost? What, what is it, Ghost? That's Season 4? Will it be Season 4 of Ghost? I think so. And you think Tommy will show up there? I don't know. And and uh, who hates D-Mac as much as me? I hate I hate, I hate D-Mac. D-Mac's a piece of shit. But anyway, he needs to go. <laughs> Anyway, man, thanks for watching with your boy, man. I appreciate everybody watching my videos, man. Thank you. Subscribe to the channel. Comment down below. Download the video. And like always, man, peace.